unfortunately, the, the culmination of all that is wrong with the American side. I must explain why. First off, it comes at this immense design of sequels, not building, and the idea of building up intellectual property rights instead of intellectual people. George Lucas is now no longer the George Lucas of Star Wars. He is just Star Wars. So therefore, it is the culmination. We watched this movie not for the simple fact that it's designed by George Lucas, but because it was Star Wars. Star Wars? That's the next problem with it, is that it was a complete failure to rein in a director, an auteur, so they said. But instead, what we got was Jar Jar Binks, for God's sake, sirs <laughs> and madams. We had Jar Jar Binks uh, appeal to pander to the lowest them, uh, to make sure that it's a little kiddie film while talking about intergalactic politics and how in the world we must uh, impeach the Prime Minister because of trade disputes, which is totally what all children want to be when they grow up, so, is to be either a maroonic comedic alien, or else a completely boring, evil politician, whichever one they want. Yeah, so this is exactly the kind of stuff that plagues the American cinema. So, further on, in The Phantom Menace, we have this overuse of this thing called CGI. <laughs> this computer-generated imagery, which allowed the actors to react with the emotional response of a wet tank. <laughs> bag, brown bag. I'm afraid when we were supposed to see all in their faces, we see the oh, is the green screen moving? I didn't realize that. The wonder of a six foot walking dog <laughs> is replaced by the I guess this guy will look good in post. So with that, I must ex I mean, we must examine again that the that. The Star Wars The Phantom Menace is all that truly is bad in America. Thank you. Wow.